Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Boxy Charm unboxing video for you guys. So as always, I'm just going to tell you guys my first impressions on the products which I have used all today. So let's get started. So every month it comes with a card and this month's theme says and the charm award goes to. So it's like award themed and then on the back of course it always has the products and the retail prices for the products. So there's that. So the product that everybody got in the box this month is this vintage highlighter duo. So here's what the packaging looks like and this is just too cute. Like I got the rose gold highlighter in a few in a few boxes back and I was kind of bummed that I threw this away and so I might just like keep this box and like do some crafts or something with it but I don't know what I'm going to do yet but that's too cute. So here's the actual product and it is not as beautiful as the box. So there's that. I do like the packaging though. It is cute but not relatively. So let's open this up. So here are the two highlighters and here's a darker shade and here's a lighter kind of pinky shade. And I just absolutely love these. So here are what they look like. Like, I don't even want to waste these on swatches, but I will do that for you guys. So, just super reflective, really nice. I just have really light swatches because, like I said, I do not want to waste these because it is amazing. So there's that. Love it. Um, let's see what's next. On the card, it says crown. The crown fan brush. This is what it looks like very very soft. I've never actually owned a fan brush and I am loving it. I used it to apply the highlighter today. So yeah this is really awesome. I think that everybody got a fan brush in their box and it could be either this or a different brand. So love this. The next thing is this Oscar Brandy Pronto Dry Shampoo Spray. So yeah, just a normal dry shampoo. It says that it retails for $23, which I think is a bit ridiculous because I don't notice anything special about this dry shampoo. Like, I mean, it works, it adds volume, like everything that you ask for a dry shampoo, but I think that there are plenty of other dry shampoos that are much cheaper and work just as well. So happy to get it, I'll use it up, but not gonna repurchase that. The next thing is a pure cheek stain. Here's what it looks like. Kind of cute. Um, let's see. So on one end you get a brush to blend out the product. Personally, I don't really like this brush. I don't think that it works very well. Today I actually used a different kind of blending brush to blend out the product on my cheeks. And then I also just applied this end straight to my lips. And I use that as like a lip stain. So here's what this looks like. It's just a deep wine shade. And it smells like wine too. Like it smells so amazing. Like I love this. But it is really difficult to apply. So I don't know. I'm just not. I'd rather have something else but I do like the scent. And I do think it looks good but I had a lot of difficulties trying to apply this. The like three times that I've worn this so far. So the last thing is this Odessa New York nail treatment. Here's what that looks like. You put it on your nails. I have this on today and it just like strengthens them. I don't really see the purpose in this. I mean, I guess that I can kind of tell a difference. I've only worn this for like a week now and I've applied it twice. So it kind of just like puts a little very thin layer on your nails and like it starts to chip. And you can definitely tell that there's something on your nails, but it doesn't like wash away when you wash your hands or when you take a shower. So I don't know. I'm having kind of mixed feelings about it. It retails for $18 and I just don't quite see the purpose of it. I don't know. I'm going to try it more. Let me know what you think about this and any of the other products in the box. I have to say I wasn't quite a huge fan of this box. I did like the highlighter and the crown brush but the other things I could have gone without really I could have gone without all of these but yeah I do like it I mean 
it's nice to get for $21 a month. So let me know what you guys got in your BoxyCharm and what you thought of it in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks.